All right, can you believe it? It's March 18th, Wednesday, day three of this crazy stuff. So uh, good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching. have a few things for you today and, uh, you know, hope you have a great day. And so just to get started, uh, remember to share this with your classmates. I'm not quite sure who's getting it, who's not. Um, I am incorporating Google Classroom today, so that'll give more of an idea of who's doing some work or who I could communicate with. I could check your math, I could check your writing. So uh, we'll go over that. Uh, to start, just I've been wanting to get this in. So this is a nice visual. Uh, this is mainly for the parents here. Uh, so if you want to show this to your mom or dad, here are some other options. Um, I think Crash Course is more, we've used that a couple times more for middle school or high school, but Nat Geo Kids is real good. Uh, you know, I like TED Talks. Duolingo is an app for learning different languages. Um, Code Academy is certain students would really like that. Khan Academy, of course, and there's Prodigy. So anyhow, I just wanted to throw that out your way. It's, it's not a million things. It's broken down nice and easy and it's color coded. Uh, so those are some different options uh, you can use. Let's see here. We we're going to go to Google Classroom. Before I do that, I saw an awesome YouTube video yesterday. It was, it's crazy. This video was made, I think, at the end of February. Let's see. This video was made February 28th. There's 9 million views to give you uh, an idea. And it was excellent. And it's basically Wuhan, China, where the epicenter of all this happened or where one of the main points of where this happened, it got out of control. Uh the documentary of it. So it's almost like what we can see to come here in the next month or six weeks. So uh, it was done really well. There is some, it, it's done in English, but there is some reading you have to do. And I'm going to put the, I, it, I would make this an assignment. If you're watching, I'd say you should definitely watch this video. It's very interesting. It's right on point with what's going on. And, uh, and you can see why they've decided to quarantine, you know, all these different countries and cities and states. So uh, this will be in the description of the YouTube video. Um, it's also, I don't think it's on your Google Classroom, uh, but this will be in the YouTube video description. I'll probably send it do Class Dojo also this, this link. And uh, yeah, it's very, very good. So that's that one. Uh, here's Google Classroom. So you can see I put some math word problems. You click it. There is a Google Form sheet that goes with it. It says Olympic 11. It's not. It's the math word problems. Um, there's also this Birch Bark House main idea, and it's pretty cool because on YouTube here, we were reading the Birch Book House, and they have the whole thing here read for you. Not only is it read, it follows along. So as you see here, excuse me. As you can see here, uh, if it ever, it's going to go with you as you read this or as it reads it to you. You can literally follow along and make it big screen and you can just follow that bar and read with, with the story and find out what happens to Omakaye. And uh, so, again, that is on Google Classroom. So you just read with it and Birch Burke House main idea. So you'd write the chapter, chapter four, the main idea. Here's difficulty Omakaya faced. Um, so there's math word problems, which is a Google form, which you're very used to. It's how we take our tests. There's this Birch Burke House main idea. You just open up a Google Docs. Here's the YouTube uh, link for the Birch Bark House. So you can listen to it and read it. Here's where you could put in any of your math answers that we've gone over in the past. This is all new for all of us. We're just going to do our best. Uh, but if you can get on to Google Classroom, we can. you can share things with me. And uh, we can have some form of communication this way. So the math, math answers, you'd open up a doc. And you just say, here's my answer to number one. Here's my answer to number two. Uh, but for now, let's focus more. I'm going to try to make them more like this here. This is what I'd like you to do is go to that Olympic form right there and you read the questions. So, for instance, if I were to click it, of course, you know, it just takes you like you're going to take the test. And John bought five boxes of books at a yard sale. If each box had 15 books in it, how many did he buy and so on. And, uh, and you could turn that in. 
and then again the birch bark house and those are the two you know those are the two main assignments i'd have for you today is the 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 watch the documentary that's a half hour it's very interesting i suggest watching with the parent but if not that's okay too um word problems the math i'll take you 30 minutes to an hour to do birch bark house do a chapter or two that's another half hour or so next thing you know you did a couple hours of work uh i always recommend going back to prodigy i know it's fun and you like it i recommend doing khan academy uh, highly recommend doing Khan Academy. It would, it would really look good if you did some Khan Academy there. Um, if you read, I suggest reading. Hey, you have your chapter book. Speaking of which, I've been meaning to get to this. Do some things you also really, really like. For instance, you know me, I'm still drinking my coffee, right? Uh, you know me, I'm still playing games. Okay, when I went in to get the fish yesterday, I also grabbed the Birch Bark House. So I have the copy here. I also grabbed a copy. I think it was on maybe Cody's desk is Percy Jackson. I also brought home Percy Jackson number two. So I'm going to read one and two during this break. So I'll have caught up on that. I also have a couple other books over here. So just make sure you're also doing some things you like, but make sure you're also doing some reading. And what I was going to say with the reading, 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes after lunch, 20 minutes at night. It doesn't all have to be one hour. If you prefer to do the one hour at one time, that's great. If you want to read more than one hour, even even better, you know, a uh, half hour in the morning, half hour in the afternoon, that's your hour. So uh, if you want to research and write something, again, you can share that with me on Google Docs. You know how to do that. You make it, you share, you find my name, you type it in, you share it with me. And now all of a sudden I have your Google Docs and we can work on that. So research what you'd like. We've already done the animals. Um, typing.com or nitro type. Don't have a Saltzman Weibel slides. That is the math form for today. I do want to keep you going on this daily diary. Again, if you did it on Google Classroom, you can share it with me. I could see your diary. If not, that's okay too. The coronavirus assignment, I think we're just going to take a little break from. If you want, if you if it interests you and you really enjoy it, keep going with it, please, by all means. But for now, I want to stick to the Birch Bark House. Uh, I want to stick to those math word problems trying to get people on Google Classroom uh, over the next few days and week. And hopefully we can get, you know, out of the 25 kids, 15, 20 of you, 10 of you on there, uh, turning in assignments. And um, so anyhow, that's the plan from here. Uh, anything that I missed, there's the email address. Feel free to email me or class dojo me. The Birch Bark House is a YouTube read aloud. You can even read along with it. Find out what happens to Omakaye. Uh you know, it doesn't have to be a cliffhanger. We can, so please do that. Uh, you don't have to read it all in one day or listen to it all in one day, but oh, between today and today's what, Wednesday? So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe by Sunday, Monday, have the book done. Um, math word problems, I would say do that whole thing. I'll try to put up a new form every day so you have more math to work on every day. Uh, but I would say that that form, those word problems are easy enough to where you should be able to get through that whole thing today in one sitting. Um, yeah, so have a great day. Remember to get in some exercise, clear your mind. Uh, everything's going to be all right. It just uh, the coronavirus in China, by the way, in Wuhan, they're they're almost basically done with it. You know, I mean, there's there's very few cases coming up a day at this point, and there were many many cases. Uh, and as you'll see by the documentary, and they, and they, and they figured it out that, that this quarantining and these, um, you know, staying away from all these other people because it's so highly contagious, uh, it, it really killed off the, the virus. And now they're starting to go back on subways and, and, and this and that, and everything's all good. So uh, hope is on the way. It's just going to be a weird month right from here out so uh i will talk to you guys tomorrow feel free to message me whenever you like and uh stay in good spirits uh talk to you soon